The Institutes, of course, are, are based on the book by Nathan Rutstein called Healing Racism in America. And the term healing sort of implies we have a disease, an illness, a sickness, something of which we need to be cured. Can you tell us why Nathan chose that kind of terminology? It's, um, it's a disease that is um, perpetuated throughout from the time you're born. And it's, Nat defines it as a, as a cancer that is, uh, that people don't realize that oftentimes they have until it is exposed. And until you can take that cancer or that disease out of your system, you'll be infected with it for as long as it stays there. If you look at it as a disease, then we can heal it, and we can work on it, and we can overcome it. And um, it's by looking at it in that viewpoint that you realize that racism is something that can be healed. A cancer, if you, if you literally have a cancer in your body, then getting rid of it by surgery or chemotherapy or whatever process you undergo is going to be a very painful process. So I guess the analogy is that it's the same with racism. We found that on Saturday that uh, feelings and emotions came out that uh, people oftentimes don't realize they have. One of the, and this is a story I tell about myself when I realized that I had prejudice and racism is when my husband and I, who is uh, white, and he's Italian American, but he's still considered white in our country, and he wanted children. And for me, I didn't have, you know, I had never thought of having mixed children. So when I thought about it and I thought, oh my God, I don't want a mixed child. But because I really did love him and I believed in the unity and oneness of mankind, I, it took us about six months to work, out, work it out, but I did, it did, help me to address the issue of, of racism within myself. So, so what was the biggest problem for you? Was it the fact of knowing that your mixed race child was going to face difficulties as a mixed race child? Or was it because um, you just couldn't imagine having children with somebody from a different race to yours? It was both. But it was primarily having a child with a white person, mm. you know. And because of that, I had to address my issues of prejudice and racism within myself and looking at this person as a, as a person, not defining him as uh, someone who wasn't human. Because when you look at someone who is not of your race, a lot of times what happens is you don't look at them as human beings. You look at them as... Uh, almost a subhuman. So what you're saying is that, if I'm understanding you correctly, is that you learned racism within your culture in the same way as we as whites learn racism within our culture. And we don't realize we pass it from, from our, that it's passed from our parents to us to our children. And until we can get to the point where we heal that racism and we get past that and heal it as a disease. <laughs>